Good morning, my dear students. Today I will discuss from class five maths. Today I will discuss money from the maths. It is the symbol of our rupees or our rupee. At first, we will know how to calculate the unitary method or how to calculate the cost by unitary method. How to calculate the cost by the unitary method? By this unitary method. we will find out the cost of the things or cost of the unitary or unit things unit that means at first i will tell you from the unitary method it will be comes from unit unitary it will be comes from unit unit means one that means we will find out each of every each and every things each and particular one things how many rupees if is there 5 for rupees 45 that means suppose it is 5 pens 5 marbles 5 copies etc 5 of these things will be in 45 rupees how to find out the one or unit or each things need right here the 45 that means we should write how much money or how much money we should need for the five things we should write in the up portion of the fraction or also it will be or total rupees of these five things we should write here as a numerator then these five will becomes in down that means 5 will be right as a denominator 5 will be goes down and 45 or the total rupees we should write here as a up portion of the or upper portion of the fraction after that 5 and 45 it will be or these are divisible by only 5 5 ones are 5 so we should write here One and five nine is a forty-five. So we should write here nine. If it is nine by one, also it will be nine because if any number can be divided by one, it will be the same number or it will be the itself. So if the five pens or five things, the rupees of uh, rupees of five things will be forty-five. On that time, we will find out the one. piece of these things we will divide the numbers how many pens or how many copies we should write here as a below or we should write the lower portion of the fraction and total amount or the total we should write here in the up or the upper portion of the fraction after that it will be divided by the lower number or the divide by the denominator after getting result we are find out the each or one things what or how much money need here is six cost of six pence six pence it will be 42 rupees we are find out one pen if it is one that means it will be singular so we should write here pen then we should write here 45 because 45 is the total amount of the six pens so we should write here 45 is in the up or the upper portion of the fraction and also we should write 6 as the denominator 6 will be goes as denominator because six pens will be cost if six pens will be cost in 42 rupees then one pens will be the lowest or less than six pens cost so we should divide the numbers by this number we should divide so we will write the 6 as a denominator 6 ones are 6 and 6 sevens are 42 so we should write here 7 so each and every pen will be cost in 7 rupees so we should write here the answer cost of one or each pen 
is rupees seven. We should use the symbol of our rupee. After that, we should write the number or money. Okay. So this one is called the unitary method. I will revise it again. Unitary that means it will become from unit. Unit means one or each. One or each. If is there are seven pens or seven things. Okay. So here is some examples. Cost of twelve twelve pastries rupees four hundred eight. That means the cost of one pastry is divided by twelve because twelve pastry is the total amount of twelve pastries is is four hundred eight. So we should write here four hundred eight is in the up and twelve will be goes down because twelve pastries are there. Okay. After calculate it will be thirty four. So the cost of one pastry is rupees for 32. Like this, you should do your homework class assignment 8B. And also you will practice this example 2 and example 1. So many examples here. After practicing the example or these things, then you should do your homework. Okay. These are your homework. From page number 125, your homework I will write here the homework, homework page, page number 125 and 126. Before, before do your homework, you will do the, you will practice these examples from your book or our video classes, then you will start to do your homework. Okay, thank you my dear students. Thank you for watching.